Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to have a look at the entire line of Takahashi TS-65 telescopes. These telescopes date from uh, 1967 through the mid-70s. I hope you enjoy having a look at these fascinating telescopes. In 1967, Takahashi introduced the TS-65. Uh, there it is on the left. And about a year later, they introduced the same scope on an Altaz mount. In 1970, they introduced quite a revolutionary telescope. That's the TS-65D. Notice the great big D mount, it's huge. This scope also features a finder scope with a reticle in it that allows you to polar align the scope. About a year later, they came along with this one. This is the same scope, TS-65 triplet semi apochromat 1000 millimeter focal length. So it's the same scope as the previous year, only it's on a smaller mount, it's got a smaller tube. This is a standard 68 millimeter tube. Then comes the diminutive little TS-65P. Year was 1973. It has a built-in polar scope, first telescope like that. 500 millimeters semi apochromat triplet and designed to be portable. Then we have the V1, the TS-65 V1, 1976. A 65 millimeter with 800 millimeter focal length on a lighter mount. Very nice, still very nice, nice and lightweight, very compact and portable. Not quite as good as the TS-65P, but nice lightweight mount. the TS-65, the original. Here's the Altas mount. Here's the big, beefy TS-65D. Big telescope on it. Here is the smaller but still very functional S mount. Little tiny P mount. From the P mount, here's the V1 mount. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at the entire Takahashi TS telescope lineup. Thank you very much for watching.